Fort Walla Walla Museum is located on the grounds of the sixth Fort Walla Walla. That's right, I said six. There actually are six different forts in this region that were called Walla Walla. Fortunately, no two of them were occupied at the same time. We've been at this location now for over five decades, and we have 16 structures in our Pioneer Village. We have five major exhibit galleries and over 50,000 artifacts to help tell the stories about the history of this region. There were multiple fights and several battles that the Fort Walla Walla soldiers partook in, but for over 99% of the time, the soldiers helped keep peace between the settlers and the Indian people. So in some ways, it was here for everybody. Shortly after the Civil War in 1866, the United States military formed some new units of both cavalry and infantry soldiers. The 9th and 10th Cavalry were formed and included groups of Civil War veterans that were all African Americans. These groups were very active in military service for, for decades. And here we can see an example of a mannequin showing a corporal from the 9th Cavalry. The 9th Cavalry had worked so hard in the Philippines during the, the wars in the late 1890s, early 1900s, that the federal government decided that these men needed a little bit of a break, so they were sent to Fort Walla Walla, basically for rest and relaxation. One of the things we know here at the fort is that they had a baseball diamond and they played a lot of baseball. Fort Walla Walla closed in 1910, although there was what was called a caretaking detachment, kind of taking care of the grounds at that time. It was reopened in 1917 when the United States got involved in World War I. The fort area served as a gathering place for regional volunteers. Many of these volunteers were farm boys and they had agreed to serve in an artillery group. Now, their artillery means cannons. There were no cannons at Fort Walla Walla at that time, but being good farm boys, you don't tell them no because they make what they need. And here you can see a picture showing wooden wagon undercarriages and wooden utility poles being fashioned into wooden cannons. They made these wooden cannons so they could do some of their drills to just begin to practice.